gospel singers because you were so down to earth and you were not just, you know, well-known singers in general. You you sat with us and, and we really bonded we over. Did. We did. And so band, that chatted. was awesome. That's and awesome. then, of course, Ruben is an entrepreneur. Yes. All over the place. Trying to be. Um, and celebrity photographer. The red photo yes. photo. Well, actually, he, he will be shooting the Alice Shade wedding. Yeah. So we are excited. Yeah, absolutely. We are excited. And, of course, I love... I love, 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 love your Italian eyes business. Oh, thank you. Because I mean, that works. just brings me back home. Oh, my yeah. God. I you know, was it's so, called, so bad. Called, called Brooklyn, Brooklyn Ice, Ice yeah. I know. And, yes. and, and I, I was like, want some here. I, I was like, I know what that tastes like. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So whenever they're in, you know, in the car going, I'm like, come, come this way. So, but we are excited. We, we can talk about everything that you do, and we certainly want people to know how to, how to, how to find you guys. But what I love most, one, is that you shared your your love and your and your wedding with us mm -hmm. um and but but you keep it 100 yes and i love the love matters theme yes. and and um That's cool. you know especially when you'll get on and you'll be talking to men mm -hmm. like directly yes. and there's there's mm -hmm. there's no sugar coating mm -hmm. and so we here at, so uh, you know, and, and, and I love about this panel right here is that um, we are not um, new to heartbreak right. or heartache. Right. Um, and, um, you know, so we, we probably have a bunch of war stories, you know, around mm -hmm. this table. Yeah. And so that's why I could not wait to get you guys in studio because, um, you know, you guys have known me longer than Shane has known me. Right. And I wasn't looking for Shane. Right. And Shane wasn't looking for me. Right. Likewise. No. Right. I mean, I I didn't even know really how to answer him when he asked me out. I was like, what? So, sorry. She's out of practice. I was out of practice. Right. I was like, oh. I, I was out of practice. I, I like movies. Yeah, I right. like movies. But it was so awkward. And mm -hmm. I just, I felt like an idiot. But, um, but I, but I love the fact that because we've all been through different things that we, we have a different perspective. Um, and you know God has has blessed each of us with, you know, an, another chance at love, um, through all the ups and downs. So here we have a dear Alice Shane segment. Oh. <laughs> and so and and actually, he doesn't even get to hear uh, the hear the letter until it's on the air. Oh wow. Okay. And so we wanted to get. So, I, so I have I have a um, we got a bunch of ones on different aspects, and I I said, oh, this is going to be perfect. Okay. For Ruben and Demi Chandler, because um, I've seen their videos, and so I know. Okay, so here we go. Here's 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 the first one. Dear Alice Shane, my husband and I have been married for 35 years. My husband has good friends who are women, and I have never objected when he stayed with them when he travels from our home to Michigan. One of the women he stays with called, and they talked for hours. That's not right, is it? My husband says she's just a good friend and it's only conversation. Like I said, I didn't mind him staying with her because I trusted him. But now I'm leery and suspicious. I don't believe it's a sexual thing, but a long conversation hurts me more because I thought I was his best friend. I told him, let's get, let's get counseling. If it doesn't work, we can divorce. He said, you're not going to stop me from talking to my friends. Um, Alice Shane, I need your opinion. Leary in Florida. Mm. Now I, I had I mean all all, all sorts of things yes. popped popped yeah. in my head, but um, whoever wants to take that first, uh, I'm going to come from of course a male perspective, and uh, that ain't gonna fly in the Chandler household. <laughs> first of all, uh, me staying with um, a woman like there's there's nobody else that you could find right. in okay. the entire Motel six. state of Michigan. <laughs> state of Michigan. Right. Um, and you have to stay with this one person for what to save a buck. It's 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 ridiculous. And and here's the deal. You know we keep it we keep it a hundred. Um, you know with with the love matters and love work stuff. I it's 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 not just friends. Yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not because it's not just friends. I mean there's no way that I'm going to. Um, tell my wife, I'm going to tell my best friend, my, my wife, that if that, that I'm not going to stop talking to another female. Like, yeah. that is, I had, listen, and I had to do that. Right. right. My wife said, um, I don't, I don't like, I don't like her right there. Uh, 
and, and, and I'm talking about someone that I've known, known for, for a long time. Mm. I don't like that. What do I have to do? I, I have to respect my wife. Exactly. And so there's a, there's a major lack of respect. There's a, and, and the only thing that can infiltrate that is something that he's allowing. He's allowing that other woman. There's no in, there's no in the world that is just, oh, we, we're just friends. Half an hour's like, on the phone. No, that ain't going to happen. Listen, I can't talk my mother for out for too long. Right. It's just, it's crazy. So, no. And and if you want some brass tacks, um, anything that has that type of pull on on your decision making when it comes to your wife, um, I'm I'm gonna say that it's it's a soul tie. Mm -hmm. It's it, any it it's a soul tie. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, anytime somebody has to write in and, and, and say, you know, um, we have to go to counsel for staying at somebody's. It's and crazy. married for 35 years. Yeah. I mean. No. Yeah, okay. I think, um, if I can chime in here, uh, first of all, I'm just reading it here. Mm -hmm. um, she's she's never objected when he stayed with them mm -hmm. when he traveled from mm -hmm. home to Mich right Michigan. Well, that's on her. That's the first that's mistake right, right there. That's where it started at. Yes. Who knows? Maybe she might be doing something else. We don't know because we don't have enough information right. here. Mm -hmm. And you only have so much information with these things. But um, a good friend... Uh, staying with someone, no, nah, that's not going to fly in this household either. Right, yeah. Because people will only do what you allow you them to allow do to you. Them to do. So if she allows him to do that to her, what is she, you know, what is he allowing her to do to him, too? We don't know. Yeah, why? Well, right. But, you know, no, it's definitely not cool. Um, and then she said, you know, let's go to counseling. She's already setting it up for divorce. Yeah. Right. Let's go to counseling. And if, if it doesn't, doesn't work, work, we can, divor we can yeah. divorce. The writing's on the wall. Yeah. The writing's on the wall. I yeah. think um, my perspective, um, when people, when, before people get married and, and those that, that may be in it, like those things, things have to be discussed before you even get into that. Um, I feel like um, anybody who, of the opposite sex, who is quote unquote a friend, if they do not, if they are not in friendship with your spouse, there is no friendship. Okay. Right. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Um, um, I don't care if you go. I don't. I, there are people that I know that I've known that I've grown up with of the opposite sex of years. The relationship people grow, people change. That's life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when it comes to marriage, I'm not attached to anything else that could that could be a a blockage, a hindrance, yeah. a damage, damaging to Definitely. my husband, especially to our relationship, mm -hmm. to our marriage, especially when it comes to people of the opposite sex. If they do not befriend my husband, you are not my, my friend anymore. Right. Right. At the end of the day, there are those that have, that, have, that have come along, that they get along with my husband, and, and it's not many at all. I mean, pretty much all the male guys that, I, that I've known in my life. Why? And, and my thing was, I gladly let it go. It wasn't like, oh, you know, I have to keep talking to me. They don't have to talk to you. They're my friends. No. Right. We're one. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We're one. There's no way we can walk out of the house and the foot just says, you know what, I decided to stay home today. Or my arm, it's the same thing in marriage. So yeah. it's like, there is no friendship. If you cannot befriend my husband, and I'm talking yeah. about like, call, like, Literally, you can't call me on the phone and we just chatted up and talked for hours. No, that's, that's not and right. you don't, and, and you could be because I'm, I'm the type of person. No, I, you, I, I need you, uh, like like a friend of like a uh, he's not a friend, he's like a brother of mine that I've known for years, and he lives here in Georgia. And just now getting around to be able to come over to meet my husband, he was like, I can't wait to meet your husband. I came over, um, amazing friend of mine in the music industry, and I mean they hit it off like brothers. That's awesome. If he had been to the place where he never. When you can't just talk to me and never talk to my husband, it's, right. it's disrespectful. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Or, or if you feel some type of way, like, oh, I don't like her, and I'm just going to keep talking. No, that, that doesn't mm -hmm. fly. So I would rather, mm -hmm. the friendship would have to be on, and we just become acquaintances. And when I see you in public, I see you. Right. I, I love simple. you. Right. Nothing nothing lost, but that means right. that that friendship has come to, ex it, it has expired. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And once people get that, that understanding that, no, there's no way my, my husband not going to stay with no female. Right. Well, Unless it is Mary Chandler. <laughs> 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 well, friendships, as you, as you grow older and you get wiser and you get more mature, mm -hmm. and your circle tightens it and does. gets stronger. Yeah. Yes. And it gets smaller also. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes you get to drop friends. You, you do. do. Well, yeah. I mean, absolutely. The key thing for, for me was the long, like, hours on the phone. Mm -hmm. Because the first day that we met, um, that evening, he called me and we were on for hours mm -hmm. on the phone. Why? Because yeah. we were creating... A bond. A bond. Yeah. Okay. You're and bonding. So, We're trying to figure and, out. And, this, right. and see, for, 
for me, because I have I have an ex husband, mm-hmm. right? And then I have a late husband. Mm-hmm. My ex husband married to my ex best friend. Wow. And so th- to me that emotional cross that's it. That it's over. That yeah. that hit me even harder than the speculation of when the physical happened. Yeah. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. right. So to that that is a betrayal because what what do you have to, to say to her for two? And you shouldn't be counseling her. No, if, no. if that was the case. <laughs> or if she has a, you know what? If she doesn't have a pastor, she's, right. she's gonna, she needs to get one. Right. Yeah. Or if if she needed some advice, I would say, let me put my wife on speaker. There you go. Because you you believe you, you need to hear this from her, absolutely, and not from me. That's yeah. the proper there, way. There, there's a thing in marriage called a legitimate disrespect, and it sounds crazy, but the definition of that is the the one that you allow. Mm. Right. Uh, you know the the district. So a lot of times, like like you were saying, Shane, you know she allowed this. She allowed it. Right. You know, and so now, in, everybody knows that in any relationship, I don't care how old it is, um, people will walk over you if if you allow them to. You become a doormat. And Absolutely. so this thing right here that's that's been going on. I mean, and and the fact that they've been married for thirty five years. Yeah. You got to figure out. How long has he been doing? Like, well, it's it, been, it, it can't it, be it, the first time. It, no, it's yeah. not. She said right. from, the, from the very beginning. Right. And what, right. what's horrible about the situation that has gotten to a place where he has decided that he's not letting that relationship go. No. Anytime, anytime um, the spouse uh, feels like they have, they have this such a bond or, or a relationship of the opposite set opposite sex that you can't let go of it's a, it's a problem in mm-hmm. itself there is no let me pray about it well I'm just trying to seek God no it's mm-hmm. that's exactly what it right. is it is it is whether it's a physical bond an emotional a mental bond there is a soul tie bond bond there mm-hmm. and at the end of the day the thing is to call the thing out on the carpet and to and to and to actually he's made actually he's made a decision but if they have not had that conversation she, the conversation needs to come up that there needs to be a decision because I can't live under these circumstances or this That's situation. It. And we don't promote um, divorce, but but when he's already committed a spiritual adultery, because right. we don't know whether he's done it in the physical, right. Right. But, uh, but it is a spiritual and, adultery. And yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty he's much. He's at her house. Yeah, you're staying at her house. And it, is, it is a soul tie. Then you, I can't, you can't have two wives. Right. So, <laughs> so you need to choose which one you, you hmm. choose to be with. Yeah. Boom. Stop the well, <laughs> we are listen and and we're gonna take a, a very quick break but I want to talk about the love matters love works how that came about okay. and why why you guys are so passionate about it so you are listening to one way praise radio voice in the gospel the Alice Jane show don't go away She's a good one. 35 years? Sure. Yeah. It's been like the burning bed. He's woke up in flames. Are you kidding me? Her and him. But she allowed it. I've been in Michigan, yeah. It's been and the thing is, it's you know, crazy. when someone allows it, when someone allows it to give you, you know, kind of uh, like the green light to continue to do it. And then if you're trying to stop it, you're the bad guy. Yeah. You know, it's like you shut it down. Yeah, he was okay with it. Yeah. So it's like. That bullshit is really. 